Sure, you've heard of their 4 million euro automobile, but have you seen their 4 million euro boat? Get on board this mighty boat for a complete evaluation! Welcome back to Refined Wealth. For today's video, we'll have a look at the 4.3 million dollar Lamborghini yacht that will surely leave you wanting more. What a radical change! An Italian supercar manufacturer that once produced farm tractors is introducing a luxury boat. Just recently, Lamborghini revealed that it has created a Technomar for Lamborghini 63, a high-end speedboat. But did you know that its name Technomar for Lamborghini 63 may be interpreted in several ways? This boat is 63 feet in length, can reach speeds of up to 63 knots, which is equivalent to around 72 miles per hour on land, and is limited to a production run of only 63 units. The significance of this particular number is not coincidental. Rather, it serves as a hidden clue that alludes to the year in which Ferruccio Lamborghini established his eponymous automobile manufacturer. See? That's a number of Easter eggs right there! But how much can it cost you though? Approximately $3.5 million is the base price for each of the several hundred boats and it doesn't include the additional costs associated with personalizing the yacht with unique paint jobs, flooring, and cabinetry. So, if you want a sleeker look, be sure that you have the extra dollars to do so. And Prestige Marine in Miami, Florida, where the Lamborghini 63s are sold, informed the press that an additional Technomar was on the way. That means, it is not impossible that this yacht might have a lot of copies. Can it get commercialized though? Well, who knows at the moment? Lamborghini founded in 1963 and located in Sant'Agata Bolognese, Italy, will collaborate with the Italian C Group to produce 63 hypercar-looking boats modeled after the Cian FKP37 hybrid car. Although this is not the first boat on which Lamborghini has worked, it supplied engines for others in the 1960s. The 3 million euro or 3.4 million dollar yacht is the first yacht for which the brand has been responsible for the design. For a vessel measuring 63 feet in length, the 24 tons that this one is made of carbon fiber will be very light. I mean, Lamborghini's trademark styling cues are seen throughout the yacht. Do you agree? The team of Maurizio Reggiani, Lamborghini's chief technological officer, used the same unique stretch carbon skin used in the company's sports seats and steering wheels to create the hulls of the watercraft. To it, the boat's sleek lines and forceful edges are inspired by the lowly in comparison to the CN Huracan sports car and the material will be used in the seats, steering wheel, and helm. The boat also features a start or stop button similar to the one seen on the Lamborghini Huracan and Aventador sports vehicles. Alluding to the Terzo Milenio concept car and the CN FKP37, which also have Y-shaped headlights, the lights on the bow of this boat are designed in a similar fashion. Cool, right? But that's not all. The yacht's hardtop was inspired by that of a Lamborghini Roadster and serves a similar purpose, to shield its occupants from the elements while allowing the vessel to perform at its aerodynamic best. Moreover, all Lamborghini 63 yachts are powered by dual V12 engines producing 2,000 horsepower each, allowing them to attain speeds of up to 60 knots or 70 miles per hour. The Mercedes AMG cigarette racing boat, which could reach over 120 miles per hour, is far faster. Nonetheless, it will get you from A to B in good time and in authentic Italian fashion. We've never had the pleasure ourselves, but reports from those who have gone out on a test run point out that one of the most remarkable features of the yacht is how it handles that speed. This thing was designed to be as sleek and fast as their cars, so when you get up to the speed, you barely notice it on the boat. The vibration is barely there, and even when hitting some chop, the boat glides through the waves like a knife through butter, smooth and easy with barely any bumps along the way. It's the least you'd expect from a Lamborghini. Not only that, but adjustable flaps enable varying the trim of the boat, which improves performance during pre-launch planning. Changing this setting modifies the yacht's orientation in the water. 
the first Technomar for the Lamborghini 63 boats will hit the market that same year, 2021. And a lot of different things serve as inspiration for it, you know. Stefano Domenicali, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Automobili Lamborghini, said in a written statement that having the opportunity to work on a boat helps inspire design for future Lamborghini automobiles. To paraphrase what Domenicali once stated, if I had to envision a Lamborghini on water, this is it. And he couldn't get any clearer. But Lamborghini has made previous forays into the marine industry, so this is not their first rodeo. Five years after launching his namesake car firm in 1963, Ferruccio Lamborghini commissioned a wooden boat from the renowned Italian shipbuilder Riva and fitted it with a pair of 4.0-liter V12 engines from its iconic sports vehicles. Later, the company started making a very powerful V12 marine engine of 7.2 liters for speedboats. Some of these engines found their way into the similarly outlandish LM002 of the 1980s and 1990s, a ridiculous super SUV that served as a forerunner to the company's current bestseller, the Eurus SUV. To be sure, numerous other automakers have done the same. Together with cigarette racing, Mercedes-AMG has produced 12 ultra-fast boats. In 2016, Aston Martin produced the AM37, a 37-foot powerboat. In 2017, Lexus built a unique 42-foot Lexus sport yacht concept. And in the same year, Bugatti introduced the 66-foot 1,000-horsepower Niniette. It wasn't until last year that even Fisker joined in, announcing a 164-foot super yacht with Benetti for the cool sum of $37 million. At that price, the Lamborghini 63 seemed like a steal. In this light, it is important not to overlook Ferruccio Lamborghini's first vehicle firm, Lamborghini Tractors, which was established in the early post-World War II era in Italy and is still active today. Although we know there isn't a vehicle big enough to pull this super yacht, we can't pass up the chance for cross-promotion. I mean, all in all, the Tectomar for Lamborghini 63 is a yacht that brings the brand of the bull to the waves. It's a very special machine, perhaps even more so than the Lambo CN, which is the current pinnacle of the Bologna-based automaker. So which of the two types of Lamborghinis would you pick if you had this kind of cash to spend on a luxury vehicle? Land or sea? What do you guys think? Is sea transportation the next industry Lamborghini is going to dominate next? Comment down your answers below. Don't forget to like this video. And since you're already here, you might as well subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on great new videos. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the following video.